Hello and welcome to another edition of Better Informed. It's now been three weeks since the end of the national disinfection drive across the UAE and the easing of the lockdown rules here in Dubai. So what impacts have we seen uh, from the lockdown and from COVID-19 here in Dubai and the UAE? Well, simply put, it's too early to say in terms of the overall impact into the market and into prices. That'll be something we will see over the coming months, but we are starting to see some trends emerge. Firstly, what's been the impact into live deals? The, the pipeline of current deals that were signed prior to uh, the, the lockdown. Um, if we look back at 2009, uh, one of the trends we saw in 2009 was the, the collapse of sales pipelines across the world. In many cases, up to 90% of signed deals fell through in the face of the collapse of the mortgage market. That's simply something we haven't seen during this crisis. Whilst there has been a little increase in the number of fall throughs during the lockdown period, um, it only accounted for 6% of the sales transactions that we carried into that period here at Better Home. So rather than 90%, it was more around the 6% mark. Now, why was that? Well, I think it really comes down to the causes of the crisis, both back in 2009 and today. Uh, we're not talking about a systemic issue in the market or the financial market now. Um, we're not talking about a crisis of liquidity. And the fundamentals of the market were strong before going into this crisis. Most importantly, most buyers we're speaking to, the sentiment of most buyers during this period is that they believe that the pandemic will be short-lived, um, will come to an end at some point and their lives must move on and they've moved ahead with their purchases. Probably most noticeably last week we completed on the sale of a commercial building on Sheikh Zayed Road, a deal that had been ongoing for roughly 10 months and that company decided to go ahead with that investment uh, because they are confident with their future here in Dubai and I think that's a really positive message for everybody in the market. Uh, number two, one of the main trends we've seen post lockdown has been a, a desire for villas. Um, in the months leading up to the lockdown period, roughly 38% of all inquiries into the Better Homes group were for villas. That's grown by around 25% to 49% in the last three weeks. So just under half of everybody phoning Better Homes group or the Better Homes group over the last three weeks have been inquiring about villas. Now, why is that? It's probably pretty obvious. The extended period locked in our homes has focused the mind on space and outdoor space in particular. And there's a lot of people putting that at a premium at the moment. And that's been fairly well documented across the market. Um, I also think it is though driven by affordability. Falling rents, falling prices over the last few years have brought villas into the, um, uh, made villas more accessible for more and more residents across Dubai uh, and Abu Dhabi. And we're seeing much more people then deciding to make that move. So what areas in particular are attracting attention for villas? Um, our, our leasing teams in particular have been busy in some of the more affordable villa communities. We've seen people leaving apartments and looking to rent in villas in areas such as Mira and Maple and Dubai Hills. But for sales, it's been the traditional uh, communities which offer larger pot, plot sizes for good value, such as Arabian ranches, uh, lakes, meadows that we've seen a lot of interest in. And it hasn't just been interest, it's been transactions too. Last week alone, we sold seven villas across those uh, communities. So people are putting pen to paper and people are doing deals. Finally, um, transaction numbers. Probably one of the biggest trends we've seen since the end of the lockdown has been the rebounding of transaction numbers, certainly somewhere near pre-lockdown levels. In fact, in the first two weeks of May, our residential sales volumes have been higher than they were in the first two weeks of May uh, 2019 by 9%. So we've sold more units in the first two weeks of May, despite everything, despite Ramadan, than we did in the first two weeks of May 2019, which I think is very, very interesting. I think undoubtedly some of the transactional uh, volumes we're seeing at the moment is a bit of pent up demand from the lockdown period. People are out and about now and they're out there doing deals. Um, but I think it's also important to look back at the state of the market prior to COVID-19. In January, February and the first two weeks of March, we'd seen the 
busiest period at Better Homes that we've seen for the last five years in terms of transactions. And that was really driven by uh, investors, yes, but end users in particular here in Dubai, um, really understanding and seeing the value that was on offer for Dubai and UAE real estate. And, and we were seeing a lot of people looking to buy their first homes. I think that's carrying on to a certain extent. For those people who are confident about their long-term position here in Dubai and their life here in Dubai, I think a lot of that is carrying on. And, and for some people, the uh, current situation in the market, current situation with COVID-19 may indeed you know, help that decision by creating a little bit more value than they perhaps would have found beforehand. So is it business as normal? Is it business as usual? No, I don't think so, not yet. And I think it's too early for anybody to say that. However, what is emerging as the new normal certainly is giving signs of optimism for the future. Um, we will continue to give you as much information as we can, keep you as informed as we possibly can as we go ahead uh, over the next couple of weeks. But for more information, if you'd like to visit our blog at www.behomes.com, and uh, we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you.